I recently got asked what to do when you're feeling overwhelmed by life, when you're feeling overly tired. I said, well, typically the answer should be self-explanatory, but let me think a bit and let me come up with some ideas. See, a lot of people don't understand. One of the reasons why they are constantly tired is typically they go to their job with a very bad mindset. Yes, unfortunately, you may not like your job, but unfortunately or fortunately, it is that which is giving you the money. Now, the quality of the people is probably uh, doubtful and you get a lot of things on your back to do. But, well, ultimately, one tip to start feeling uh, less and less tired. The first time when you wake up in the morning, try to smile. It doesn't cost you anything and it has much deeper implications than you may think. See, psychology says that the first state of emotion or the first set of thoughts that you think when you wake up in the morning, they're gonna hinder you or they're gonna buff you for the rest of the day. Yes, obviously a lot of situations in life can be very unpleasant, but one other reason why people feel very tired is because they overthink. They think way too much and they react way too much to things. One has to learn that you sleep around 8 hours a day, probably more, probably less, to have the energy for that day. Don't allow those uh, psychic vampires and energy vampires to drain your energy. Because they're also sleeping and they also have their own energy. But you have to understand it's their function. That's how they function. They also overthink like you, but probably they think and overthink even more and they react even more. So they have such a lack or a deficit of energy that they need to drain others of energy. And they will probably complain. They will probably, you know, always have something to say. And it's always something negative, right? Typically women do that, but well, you know, it's not that only them do that. Uh, unfortunately, feminine energy, when they get wounded, well, victimization is going to be part of the scene, so expect a lot of that. In order to counter all this reacting to things, remember one thing. Everything that people say, it is just a piece of meaning. Ultimately, it's just like playing a video game. You're seeing just some images and you're hearing some sounds. You don't have to give them too much meaning also. Unfortunately, your mind has been poisoned with a lot of words and meanings. And every time you hear something, you almost instantly react. It's going to take a long time to um, counter this, to learn to do it less and less, and to get less used to doing this. But ultimately, they always say, try to do something, learn something, and act with something that will, you know, will allow your future self to thank your current self, as they say. Now, I don't believe in future selves, but, well, everyone has their own piece of meaning, right? Another reason why people are very tired is because they always, or very often, they multitask. See, multitasking, I've done this countless weeks and I've done it throughout my life. Believe me, it's an energy sink. Even if you think you can do more things at the same time, it's going to ruin your brain or it's going to weaken your brain or it's simply going to make you so freaking tired. You're going to feel like you're, you know, like maximum stacks of depression and abandonment and tiredness and whatever else uh, debuffs you may think of, uh, you know, from a video game or something like that. So, uh, reality also included. So, the point is, try to learn how to mitigate these, right? Learn to eat much, much less. Try to eat at least uh, 60% or 75% of the food that you eat and try to reduce it to 60 or even 50%. Because if you have a job that's all about, you know, sitting with your butt on a chair and you barely get to do any movement, you know, any stretching, any sport, any actual a uh, great use of energy besides overthinking. When you quit overthinking and, you know, you do it less and less, you will have some extra energy, right? And it is best to use this energy in, you know, wiser ways. And try to become more meditative. Try to constantly think about what pisses you off about each and every foe, right? Or, well, person who doesn't like you or you don't like. And think about how you can uh, act in a better way towards them. You know, you can deviate their conversation, you can ask them straightforward what are they doing with their life because they've been complaining a lot. Depending on how they will react, you should know them better. You should find some quotes and 
typically with such people, try to make yourself be very tired in front of them, be very boring, and typically they will move away because when they feel that you're constantly drained, well, there's not too much energy to drain, so if they have nothing to suck from you, well, they will probably find other targets. And you know, miserable people, well, they have two great uh, specifics. One is the only... Uh, Mm, pleasure they think they would be worthy of his sex and typically their mind will flow a lot with those kind of thoughts and secondarily well misery they would love simply spreading misery so be very careful when you deal with such people because energy is contagious another tip when you come from when you come home especially if you wear black which is a uh, you know, a non-color that opens you up to all the energies because black means it absorbs everything. So you literally open yourself to the entire misery of the city, the workplace and literally everyone. You have your misery enough of it, right? You don't want other people's because enough misery, enough energy in your life is good. And you definitely don't need other people's misery. You're not given birth for that, right? It's theirs for the keeping. Energy is very contagious, so be very careful what kind of people you spend your time with. Because they say, you know, psychology says you usually tend to become like the closest five people that you spend the most time with. So this should also be something that you take into account. Because if they're constantly draining you, well, you're more like in a prison rather than, you know, in a place where you actually receive hugs. A lot of people might say, well, they want toxic or fake people because at least they socialize. No, honestly, I don't mind being alone. I've been alone for most of my life because I've had like serious abandonment issues due to my family. So, you know, loneliness is not much of a problem to me. It's kind of a blessing if you know, if you learn how to make use of it. So hopefully these ideas raised a bit of awareness and well, enjoy the video. Uh, feel free to view any other videos if you're interested. Take care, enjoy life, and this being said, Ferenc and Board signing out.